Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm so glad that you're here today because I have personally been waiting for this day for more than two years. Maybe you remember that in 2018 I published this video where I uh, demonstrated a little prototype that I developed uh, for managing the visual library uh, for you know digital artists. It's a very common thing that artists usually need to do. And so back then we formed a team of four and finally after a lot of love effort, we're at this point where we're ready to release our very first version of this tool. We call it Illusion and I quickly want to show you what it does and I really hope that you will like it and of course at the end you'll be down you'll be able to download it for free. So let's go and take a look. Illusion is a tool built for artists aimed to help you organize your visual library, a single place that contains your entire collection of references, inspirations and other kinds of images. That's basically the gist of the, of the application. Uh, the main features include watched folders, um, the ability to use a tech hierarchy and a nice search. Illusion is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and is completely free. So you can download it and use it for whatever you like. And I really want to give a shout out to our team. We're four, two designers and two developers. They did a lot of work, so I really want you to, <laughs> if possible, go to their Twitter accounts and thank them for their hard work because they deserve it, really. So, with that out of the way, let me actually show you what Illusion looks like. This is Illusion. And it is a tool in which basically you uh, go up here to your locations, you click on a little plus icon and you add your image folders. These are watched locations, watched folders, so any image that you put into the folder that you load here will show up in Illusion. You can have multiple of these watched folders and you know from there on you can just dynamically add new images to these folders or remove them and Illusion will only show those images that you specify here. You can even go ahead and see the subfolders in here in case you already have like an existing uh, folder structure with lots of reference photos inside. So then you have them all here and you have a nice view of them. You can of course change between the different uh, display modes. This uh, vertical one is kind of what you maybe are used to from Pinterest. It's very nice. I personally like it a lot. And then here's probably the main feature. You have the tag list and usually you know you create tags and you can drag and drop them onto these images and that will make them of course uh, discoverable here in the search. But what's special about Illusion is that you can actually have a hierarchy in that. So you could, for example, have a something like a folder in which you uh, specify the context of an image. So you can then tag anything that has to do with anatomy with this tag and anything what's photography with another one. Well, I don't have photography here, but anyway, we can try that in this way. And now, uh, you know, searching is now a matter of simply clicking on, on that tag. And you will see that if you click on context, everything will show up that has either context, anatomy or photography on it. So that is the way the hierarchy works. If you wanted to really, you could go into the advanced search here and uh, say that you only want um, images to show up that only have the context tag and not the, the ones that are within. So then you don't get these, these ones. But uh, yeah, you see that it's a very flexible tool that can give you all the results that you need at any time. We also have a couple of features to make it more convenient for you to uh, manage your visual library. So for example, let's say you have 1000 images and you don't know anymore which ones you have tagged and which ones are still untagged. So you can quickly go down here and click on this button to view all the untagged images only. Uh, you can sw quickly switch back to all images with this button over here as well. But basically that gives you all you need to um, organize your library. Uh, a few more little things that we added include of course a preview uh, if you double click on on a file uh, you get that and um, yeah there's also a pretty nice uh, tag editor if you if you click on on a picture and you press T you get this uh, this tag editor as we call it where you can very quickly search for uh, tags and uh, then with your keyboard only navigate to to the tag that you want to add and add it and remove it basically can also switch to the next picture. It really makes it easy to go ahead and tag a bunch of pictures. Um, you know, that's kind of the the flow. 
Yeah, so all in all, it's a very, very uh, smooth tool available for all platforms. Uh, you load in your visual library and uh, and you can find your reference. <laughs> and there's one more thing I want to show you, actually. That's the very last uh, little thing, because I know that artists like to use PureRef a lot. And so we have PureRef over here. And we designed our application to work with PureRef in Harmony. So I'm just demonstrating this to show that, um, you know, you don't have to use one or the other. Basically, if you have a project, you, you bring up your library, you search for the pictures that you want to use for your project, make your selection, and you quickly just drag them over. And that's how easy it is uh, for you to, um, yeah, have all your image collections here and then just use PureRef on a project basis. So that is what Illusion is. I really hope you <laughs> liked it. And uh, finally, I really hope we can get you know a lot of users with this. Um, we're we're kind of a small team. We're having a hard time a little bit to get get all this information out. So if you want to help me promote this, it would mean a lot to us. You can retweet. Uh, my tweet over there or you can you know just tell your colleagues and friends about our tool it would be a huge help to us so yeah if you liked it consider it it would be a huge help but anyway i'll post the link into the description of this video uh please feel free to give me all your feedback and criticism in the comments um, we will be collecting all your opinions and hopefully make some adjustments there's no automated update, so you might want to check back uh, sometime to see if there if anything changed. But generally speaking, uh, this version should be um, at least stable enough so that you can use it at the moment. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I'm not more active on YouTube these days, but feel free to uh, maybe join one of my Twitch streams these days. I do a lot of those, and I hope to get a chance to talk to you again soon. So see you again. Bye.